past few weeks I've been going over. <coughs> excuse me, uh, Matthew 24, just to remind people of the times that we're living in. I'm finding that, you know, I'm, I'm watching people. Um, you know, Facebook is interesting because depending on your Facebook friends, they can be people that you may have grown up with, um, people that you may have met from a job, somebody that you uh, may have gone to uh, college with, and you run across them at that point in their life where they have um, seen a few things, gone through a few crises, and uh, excuse me, if and if they if they've been uh, part of the church world, then you begin to see the train of thought that they have and what their mindset is. Recently I ran across something that one of the people that we uh, grew up in the same hometown, I'm a few, I'm a few years older than he is, I guess, um, I guess he's about maybe maybe three to four years younger than me. But you know, that's close enough. And he put a post on Facebook and essentially what he was saying was, was that what he had heard preached was kind of what you might want to call Jesus Christ and pie in the sky type of situation where people are waiting on God to do something for them. And he was making a reference about people need to believe in themselves and do some things for themselves. Um, <clears throat> now naturally, I don't have the full context in which he spoke, but just getting from the gist of what he said, um, he wasn't satisfied with what's been preached, but I'm not surprised. Because I know the church he went to. Uh, and maybe some of the other churches he uh, visited. Um, he's a gifted singer, as many members of his family are. His mama could sing. And uh, I know he and his brother, I'm pretty sure all his sisters could sing too. Um, but I know primarily the churches he went to come from the same hometown. So I, I know really what he heard preached was uh, sermons with no unction in them. And very little, if any, direction <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> from the Holy Spirit. Therefore, it's not surprising. Um, I paid attention to other posts that he's put up as well. And, you know, the conclusion I have to come to is that he doesn't have much faith in what's been preached to him. And it's understandable. And, you know, just think about other people. I, um, recently, I sent a personal message to one of my Facebook friends who was actually a classmate of mine. Uh, I've known since elementary school. And I know she's been through some sickness. And I sent her a straight personal message in Facebook told her that I had two broadcasts a week, and that I prayed for the sick. Not only that, I even told her about how God used my wife and myself to pray for somebody that she knew, who was from her hometown, uh, the young lady who had cancer. And we prayed for her really about almost 35 years ago. It was within the first year we were married, and we've been married 35 years. So we might as well say it was 34 years ago. It was, it was before our first anniversary. And um, God healed the woman. The woman had cancer. And um, I told her to call the woman, uh, uh, go talk to the woman, so she get a firsthand uh, testimony from the woman. I know the woman would tell what happened for her. And uh, guess what? I haven't heard a word from a classmate. Mm -hmm. And this has been 
I think going on second week. Or it may have been that second week. And she's not responded to me at all. This is direct message mm -hmm. on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So I know she got it. And she's been on Facebook several times. And, uh, well, you know, certain things that you know anyway. But um, sometimes the way people say them, you just like the way they put it together. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and what I, when the reference I'm making is this. Um, if you talk to a person and have a conversation with them, and if they don't say anything to you, you still got a reply. Mm -hmm. But no reply is still a reply. No. Either they're blowing you off for whatever reason, <clears throat> they, they may think you're lying, or they don't think they don't have any uh, faith in what you're saying, or uh, you know they don't think that it uh, warrants an answer. Now here's the way my professor, who taught me interpersonal communication, would say it. Mm -hmm. She would say, "No communication mm -hmm. is communication." And it is. Um, that's what I say about the way people say things. You know, a lot of times, you may know the information, but it's the way they phrase it, the way they put it together. Mm -hmm. it, that's one thing I always liked about Dr. Mike Murdoch. Mm -hmm. You know, when I first saw him years ago, I liked the way he said things. It's the way, because, you know, to me, I'm the kind of person, I like words. Uh, words mean a lot to me, because you can, you can literally paint a picture with words. Mm -hmm. And if you can give an app description, I can see the images if you say it a certain way. Really? It becomes alive. And so, see, what I'm getting at is this. Regardless of what your problem is, if you don't believe, that Jesus Christ who he says he is, then you got a problem. <laughs> that's real. Yeah, yeah. See, that's, <laughs> you have a problem. See, that, see that's, <clears throat> see, the Lord's been, you know, I have to catch myself because see, mm -hmm. you asked me about three hours ago, yeah, what, you gonna talk about? what I was going to talk about, and see, it's like a lot of times the Lord will be talking to me about stuff all week. Mm -hmm. And I have to sometimes go like, wait a minute, I need to, I keep telling myself I need to write it down. Because I'll start getting so many different things you coming to so me. so fast to be like, yo, I can't. You know? Yeah. And sometimes you hold it. Yeah. Like you tell you something Thursday. Well, you remember the Thursday night. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't careful by Friday afternoon, you might not remember it. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> and it may be something that you and God have dealt with for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. But then they'll talk to you on Monday afternoon about something. Mm -hmm. And if you're not careful, mm -hmm. you will lose it. And it's like I said, Lord, I know you spoke to me about different things. And um, well, I was reminded when um, I was listening to uh, William Branham. And he always emphasized what he said. When the, he said when the angel of the Lord came to him and the Lord began to speak to him, he said, the Lord said, if you can just get the people to believe. And here's what I want you to understand. I don't want you to believe on me. But I want you to believe what Jesus said. Because Jesus is the healer. See, I've emphasized this week after week after week. I'm going to say it again. Benny Hinn is down a faith healer. Marcerillo is down a faith healer. Anybody that you know that prays for the sick is not a healer. There's only one healer in the house today. And his name is Jesus of Nazareth. He is the healer. We are just his mediators in a sense. But he is the chief mediator between man and God. 
we're we're just the messenger boys. We bring the message. And when we pray, we pray what? In Jesus' name. Which means in his stead. I want people to understand that because a lot a lot of times people miss their blessing because they've just got their mind in the wrong place. No man has the power to heal. No man. This comes from God. God the Father is the source. He sent his son Jesus. Everything we do is in his name. It's because of him. That Bible says that God the Father raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And that same resurrection power that rose Christ from the dead dwells in us. Do you got to understand these concepts? These concepts are not hard. Theologians will make the stuff hard, and some of that is why some folk are messed up. Because they've heard a whole bunch of Western theology, and a whole bunch of man's theology, and a whole bunch of stuff that's been made made up and it's messed up. You either got to believe that Jesus came from God, <coughs> came in a virgin birth, knew no sin, technically in all ways as we were, yet knew no sin. Went to the cross, suffered and died, and God the Father raised him from the dead three days just like he said he would. Now see, it's just that this is the gospel in a nutshell. Either you believe it or you don't. And see, it's the word of God that's calling people out. See, folk get on Facebook and, and they quote these scriptures. They write, they, they write them down. You know, or they paraphrase them. Sometimes you get a direct quote. Mm -hmm. And they'll put up some, some uh, Christian passage. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some trite saying. Mm -hmm. um, but then when it comes time for prayer, don't nobody want prayer. Why would you reject prayer? You sick? I mean, I'm, I'm astounded because, see, I've been doing this a long time, and I'm always amazed how people will talk about God when you, when you talk about prayer. Folk don't want to pray. You don't even want to receive prayer. And um, see, God, I'm, I'm telling you, see, God put the folk on the spot because God's tired of folk shamming. My, you know, my generation talked about people shamming and job time, mm -hmm. half stepping. Now, you're talking about you sick, and you're talking about, you know, it's a blessing to be around. Yeah, but don't you want to be well? And then you're going to reject prayer. When you've been told somebody that you know had cancer, and it's easy enough for you to get on the telephone or drive about 10 miles to your hometown and find a person and talk to them. And you can't do it. Because I know good my chances will tell the truth. Because she told people how God healed her. And I don't believe that she's reneged on it. Right. I don't think she has. But you know you're sick. But then you're going to reject prayer. Well, it was down what she said, man. Folks just don't believe. No, people don't believe. Don't believe. See, they, they don't believe. You ain't talking. Do, do what James Brown say. Like a dull knife, it just ain't cut. Just talking loud and saying nothing. And it's true. You know, I think about the, the woman I met online who was a, a, a she's graduated with Smith, like your mother. Mm -hmm. they, they graduated close to, I think, each other. Can't remember the exact year. She's bad all sick. Mm -hmm. And she talks about her good days and bad days on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told her I prayed for the sick. Yeah, she's going to tell me, well, no, Larry, uh, I don't need you to pray for me because 
by now God would have healed me if he was going to heal me. Mm -hmm. Just because other folks pray for you and you didn't get results, that don't mean somebody else can't pray for you. Right. So she's giving up because other folks pray for her and she didn't get healed. Yeah. You know, another thing I noticed with that too is uh, I've encountered some people who have been sick for a long time and it's like, you know, they say some of the same stuff like that lady you just talked about and I noticed that there are some people who got enough sense to know that the power of God is real but because of that they they reject the prayer because they know that if they get healed or if they get touched by the power of God in any way then there's going to be certain things that they're going to have to do mm -hmm. now you know well if I get healed of this then they gonna stop my disability. Check. Right. Some people have you know. said that they want the check to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Some folks have said that. They they and it's it's really sad. <coughs> they're sick. They're miserable physically in their body, but even still, they've gotten so comfortable and accustomed and lazy mm -hmm. to where they they will literally be willing to risk their lives and to live a, a miserable physical life just. To have a few dollars. Well, you know, it doesn't make no sense why Jesus said to the man who could never make it in, in the world, he said, Will thou be made whole? That's a simple question, didn't it? Mm -hmm. And the man said, Well, you know, sir, I, I, I try to get there. But every time I'm slow, somebody always beats me. But Jesus asked the question, you know, Will you be made? And this is the same question Jesus is still asking these people. Mm -hmm. Will you be made whole? It's up to you. And see, this goes back to what I was initially talking about, about my, my homeboy saying about you got to do some things for yourself. And th there's some validity to it. Like I said, I don't have the full context of what he meant. But yes, <coughs> uh, you got to believe. That's the first thing. You, you got to believe. I don't care what it is that you need from God. You have to believe. And God says what? With man it is impossible. Well, with God, all things are possible. But see, what happens is, it says again, only what? Believe. It says a lot of times folks find out they don't really believe. Right. <clears throat> see, they, they don't really believe. And see, a lot of times, the Holy Ghost got to shake folk up. And they got to come to the conclusion, I don't really believe. Because neither one of those women need to be suffering. And they suffered for some years. I think the woman here in Greensboro suffered longer than, than a mom boy, home of home girl at home. Mm -hmm. But there's no need for it. But see, it's a different thing when you're rejecting prayer. But at the same time, you, if they don't believe, they need to, they need to believe. Mm -hmm. Because it's just that simple. Uh, but again, too, not just money. Sometimes folks know they need to change the way they live. Yeah, they got to get their life right. Yeah, See, they don't want to do that. See uh, many times with Catherine Cooper would minister to the people. Mm -hmm. She would tell them, uh, <clears throat> you know, sometimes she didn't want people to even come back and testify. Mm -hmm. And they got a great healing because a lot of times she knew that they were living a very simple life. Mm -hmm. And they had not changed anything. In fact, sometimes now that they were well, what did Jesus say to the people? What did he tell the woman at the well? Go and sin no Go more. Go and sin no more. He told other people what? Go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. See? Because that's the integral part of it. And he even told, I forget which person he said it to, but he was like, if you don't chill out, like, not, he was like, something worse is going to come on you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you go back into it. So, <clears throat> yeah, you're right. Yeah, so, and I think sometimes, that's what folks think about, too. Yeah, they got to stop doing what they're doing. Yeah. yeah you're right. You know, and I've known people to uh, receive a tremendous healing and don't change at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be well. This will be well, but, you know, uh, you see, Lord, have me seen this stuff because mm -hmm. people need to stop thinking about this thing because <clears throat> I hate to see people suffer. I hate sickness and disease and infirmity. But 
But when you sit up and somebody asks you, do you want prayer? And you're rejecting it. How about rejection? You're rejecting Jesus. You're rejecting that so-called Savior you crazy about. Mm. See, God's trying to get people to stop and think about what they're doing. Because it doesn't make sense. Um, maybe, maybe they didn't realize they don't believe. Well, yeah. I mean, whenever you say it's, it's like whenever they talk about like, like addicts or like alcoholics, mm -hmm. like they're like the first step to recovery is admitting that you're an alcoholic. And a lot of times they won't. Yeah, and that, and that's how come it be like, yeah, dog, like, well, yeah, you are gonna keep drinking if you think that a casual drink that ends up turning into you. You drink a pass challenge. If not that, you drinking a pint a day. Right. You know. Or a fifth a day. Yeah, it's like even if you can handle it, even if you can. You know, still be fine. Still, yeah. still be a, it'll be a functional alcoholic. Yeah, it's like, you I mean, you're still an alcoholic. Yeah, Dick said he was a functional alcoholic for years. Mm -hmm. And he was in show business. And he said, I, he said, I was a functional alcoholic. And some people, oh, oh well, excuse me. They're functioning uh, people in the drugs. I can remember seeing some of the people in this neighborhood coming through buying drugs. It was obvious I saw some people who were professional. You know, when they got out of their car, they were dressed. Mm -hmm. And they may have been on their way to work sometime after work. And you could tell they probably had a college degree and was, and was working a job where they were probably making pretty good money. Mm -hmm. They ain't been in management. Mm -hmm. But what? They were on that crack. Right. You know? So every every drug dealer or every uh, person in the drugs that may be an addict doesn't necessarily look the part. You know, mm -hmm. they, they may be on their way. To look at the part later on, but uh, but yeah, that the element of denial, mm -hmm. um, like denial of anything, especially like if you're trying to change, yeah, yeah, God would have to remove that element of denial because it's the only way you're gonna be able to deal with truth. Mm -hmm. It's like if you don't even know that you don't believe, if you don't, if you don't know you got a spirit of religion, you know what I'm saying? However you want to articulate it. Sure. If you don't know that there are strongholds there, then yeah, that has to be the first step. And I think that, that um that's what be messing so many people up, uh, be it trying to get healing or, or whatever. Just the whole walk of faith, I think, because, you know, we've encountered a lot of people that have erroneously thought that they were way deeper oh, no. you know I mean, than, than they really are. And it's that. And, and it's like you, you see a lot of people, man, just just the reality of, uh, wait a second, like, I don't know, <laughs> like, like I don't I don't know 10% of what I thought I knew. Like, it ain't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, I thought I knew that, but, like, I don't even know a little bit of what I thought I knew. And it's like sometimes that reality, <laughs> whenever your heart ain't right, like, whenever you really, because what the scenario that Jay described, like, it's always, it's all, it's not necessarily like that particular dilemma that people don't have the faith for, it's the step that's after that, mm -hmm. that, that people don't, you know what I'm saying, that holds them up, it, it, depending on how much insight that person has, like, like, folk realize, wait a second, I'm not as deep as I thought I, I was, well, wait a second, that means that I got to start all over again. So it's that next step that's, you know what I'm saying, that impedes them. That, you know what I'm saying? Not not just so much the, realiz the realization, but, you, you know. It's like somebody living on food stamps and welfare checks. It's like they may complain they don't get enough food stamps and they don't get enough welfare, but it's something they don't have to work for. And they're willing to continue to be miserable and live on, you know, next to nothing, you know, instead of losing it because they know if they lose it, dang, now I gotta go get a job. Mm -hmm. And they may be very much capable of getting that job, but now I gotta go to work, now I gotta get up in the morning, now I gotta be responsible, I gotta be on time, I gotta meet a deadline. So they would much rather just continue with that little bit of pain, you know, of not having enough, you know, if it means that they don't, honestly, they don't have to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, and then to the other aspect, I think sometimes folk want their attention. 
Yeah, for the people. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the cornballs never go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah but people feel 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 sorry for them. You know, you know, and it's a thing where people might do certain things for them, yeah. and they don't get that attention up. And uh, <clears throat> it's all a trick of the enemy. You know, they keep you in the same place. Yeah, because I mean, you think about some people would be happy <clears throat> that they could uh, get up and go to a job. But like you say, some people have got there and they've gotten comfortable mm -hmm. of all places to get. But, you know, it's, it's just astounding to me. But, you know, a lot of times, too, <clears throat> it just boils down to see folk running their mouth and they don't believe God. You know, when, when, when Jesus was walking on the water and, the, you know, the disciples, the apostles were in the, in the boat, <clears throat> you know, and they and the, and you know, the storm was a raging, you know. And you know, they thought that Jesus was an apparition, you know, they thought he was, you know, something else that was out there until they realized they look and uh to us the master. And then Peter said, What? Master, if you bid me to come, what did Jesus say, Come? Just, just that quick. Mm -hmm. You know, and Peter ventured and he walked on water for a while. But when he, he got looking around, and then he started to go down, and he said, you know, Master, save me. But at the same time, I remind people, don't criticize him. He was the only one who had enough nerve to go out on Jesus' word. So he defied the laws of nature. And I want people to understand, that really happened. That was not known for allegory. <clears throat> he actually walked on water. See, another thing, too, what hurts people, they're not in the church where the anointing is really present. Or it's light, if it's there at all. Therefore, you don't really know what it means to move in the miraculous. And you might be allowing fear to come on you. To stop you from getting your miracle. You know, I told a story before. One of my aunts, my mama's oldest sister. My mama's second oldest. My mama was a Christian most of her life. And, uh... <coughs> She was a young woman, married. Uh, she's in the house by herself. And she, my aunt really knew the Bible. She knew the Bible brother and her, her husband, who was a deacon in church. I'm not saying it because she's my aunt, but I talked to her enough to where I knew she knew the Bible better than her husband. Her husband was busy uh, acting funny. But when I came with the word, my aunt knew I was dead on. So that's why I'm saying it. Not, cause, not because she's my aunt, was my aunt. But she's going to be with the Lord that she, she died a month before she turned 99. At any rate, though, she tells me the story. I didn't ask her. She tells me the story of she's read the Bible and knows that the Holy Ghost baptism is from her. <clears throat> that didn't make it good by being a Baptist. Just like me, you know, I'm a missionary Baptist. I never joined anybody else's church after that. After joining East Star Baptist Church, so I'm, you know, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sanctified Baptist person. I love to tell people that story too, you know. But um, mom's by herself. She's on her knees, she's on her, on her knees praying. She's praying for God to fill her with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. So guess what? Holy Ghost comes, but when He invades the room, mom gets scared. Now I'm telling, I'm just re reiterating. Repeat what mom told me. <clears throat> she said she got so scared that she froze up. Mm. And she froze up, but guess what? She didn't get baptized. Mm. Now, mom lived to be almost 99 years old. And when she prayed that prayer, I wasn't even talking about. The way she was talking, she might not have been married in more than two or three years if it was that long. And she, uh, got married, she was married a long time ago. She was married longer than my mama. My mama was married almost 63 years. And I, I think she'd been married maybe 18 years before mama got married. She got married very young. She was about 15, 16 years old when she got married. Um, so the thing about it is, is, she lived most of her life without the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Why? Because she rejected him. Why? She let fear cheat her out of the baptism. 
Had she been baptized in the Holy Ghost, she could have done a lot more. Really going to the really ministry like it really was intended for her, being Joe Taylor's granddaughter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, so even though she believed, she allowed fear to come in to cheat her. So you had to be careful. Well, sometimes folk get fearful. You know, I'm speaking to you out there because many of you, uh, the Lord's dealing with you. And you know, you get confronted by this. We all do. We all have to deal with different things when we get saved or seeking the Lord. Then we will do anything He can to try to throw you off, to try to get your mind elsewhere. Let me read you some out of uh, <coughs> out of the book of John. Go to John 6. 6th chapter of John. In the 47th verse. Because see, the Lord really wants me to emphasize this about this belief. This, this thing is based on belief. What does... Hebrews 11 say. Without faith, it's impossible to please. Yeah. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The other things are things not seen for by the elders obtain a good report. Yeah, that does say further down there, without faith it is impossible to please it. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> you have to you have to believe. You gotta believe that he is. Jesus Christ is saying yesterday, today, and forever. <clears throat> what did God the Father? Tell Moses in the desert. He said, you tell him I am that I am. Either you believe it or you don't. And this is very cut and dry. And I have found that people believe God for some stuff. Hmm. And some stuff they don't believe. But you won't know until you get confronted. But the good thing about it is you find that you don't believe. Now you know you got to work on those things. To get yourself right so you can believe. See, many times people, when it comes down to the supernatural, and they don't believe as much as they claim they do. <clears throat> they don't believe God as much as they say they do. Oh, it's up here. Or they can quote the scripture. But when it boils down to the road meets the road, they don't know anything about it. Therefore, that's a problem. So God is issuing you a challenge. It's not me. It's, it's the Holy Spirit. God's issuing you a challenge. He wants you to put your faith where your mouth is. Remember, the true essence of a person is their heart, the spirit. Not the thing beating in your chest, but that candle. The Bible talks about the candle of the man. That means your spirit. The real you. The immortality that you do possess. So you will live forever. Either with God or with the devil. So we get that. Let's, let's get that straight from start with. Everybody is an immortal individual. The flesh house dies. Or you translate it. If you're really blessed. <laughs> Because <laughs> you, you get translated, then you know where you're going. But if you know you go six foot under, then you know it could go any kind of fashion. May not go in your favor. Let me read the scripture for you. It says, Very, very, I say unto you, and it's Jesus speaking, He that believes on me have everlasting life. There's that immortality. That's the good life. But guess what? If you don't believe on him, you still got everlasting death is what you got. Because you will live in the afterlife. It just won't be a pleasant place to be. There'll be gnashing of teeth, mourning, screaming, shouting, Gnashing your teeth. Hell. A place where nobody really wants to be. 
but then you got to live up to the standard not to be there. And that's the, that's the challenge. When you do it, it needs to be done. Excuse me. That you don't live there. But it's going to take belief on your part. Again, as my homeboy was talking about, things you do for yourself. Well, you have to believe. Jesus said, he that believeth on me. So, it's, it's, see, the balls is your court. See, the balls are my court. We have to believe. And sometimes folks just don't believe. See, the word of God, was, 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 well, yeah, it's a discernment of the intents and purposes. <coughs> yeah, you're right, because it's folks' intents and purposes why they don't believe certain things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We was hitting on that earlier, but yeah, since you mentioned that aspect of the, uh, since you quoted that particular scripture, that that's the best way to describe it. It says that the word is sharpening two edges of sword, dividing asunder both soul and spirit, and is the discerner of the intents and thoughts. Uh, that's what it is. It's like, because what came to mind whenever you was quoting that passage from 647 was that. Your entire once you come into that initial, once you had that initial encounter with Christ, then you begin to walk with Him. The reason why they call it like the walk of faith is because in that journey, He's constantly challenging, challenging you to believe something else is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Or at least it's crazy to your natural mind because your natural mind can't understand those kinds of things. But part of that process of challenging is is like. Because he because he already knows what's really in, in our hearts, it's like that's that's an integral part of it. It's like each new realm, he's basically asking you, hey man, what are you willing to exchange? It's like I got this for you, mm -hmm. but are you willing, you know what I'm saying, to chill out with that in order to get this? And there's sometimes where there's sometimes whenever he speaks, that he tells you exactly the great thing he's trying to give to you. And then there are other times he speaks, and he don't even tell you that he's trying to give you something. He just wants you just to chill out. But it boils down to, like, yo, do you believe? It's like, do you believe that I really am who I say that I am? Mm -hmm. That's what it boils down to. And, you know, I, I think I think I kind of called it the Amplified Version when I said that mm -hmm. a while ago. You know, but, it, I mean, it is. It's, it's the intents and purposes of what the heart. Mm -hmm. You know, what's coming to mind uh the, the story of what the centurion, like he had enough belief in Jesus, even though he said, you know, I'm a sinner, you know, I'm, I'm dirty, but I, I understand who you are and I understand your power. I think that's that's one thing that um, so many people depend on way too much. They depend so much on a feeling. They depend so much on, you know, something they can tangibly perceive in some way. Instead of just dealing with square one, just just at the beginning, just believing that he is, you know, believing yeah. um, <clears throat> what Hebrews eleven to six. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. It says to believe it, he, that he is before the rewards come, you know, and he's a rewarder that diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, even with the story of the centurion, was like, hey. Um, you ain't got to come to my house. Just speak the word, and it's going to heal. You know, and from there, it's like, of course, the power of God showed up. Of course, the miracle happened. Of course, that happened. But I, I believe, you know, what I got out of that particular passage of Scripture is, hey, it was because he believed first that he got the kind of miracle that he got out of it. And it's like we, you know, we, we have no idea things that God has prepared for us but it's like a lot of times it's like a celebrity having a friend that's uh, a huge celebrity that has all this money it's like that celebrity doesn't want your friendship they they know that if you're with them for their money that it's it's not a real friendship you you only want the money God wants to know hey do you want to have a relationship with me because I am who I am you know do you are you going to obey me because you love me enough? 
You know, if you love me, obey my commandments. You know, do what I tell you to do. Are you going to have a relationship with, with me based solely on that first? I can do all these things to make you feel a certain way, to help influence you, to, you know, or inspire you to do certain things. But I believe that a greater magnitude of blessings and, you know, all kinds of stuff can come out of the fact that if we just deal with the basic principle of just believing, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's essential because it's, it's the basis of everything. And a lot of times people just don't believe. And you can tell sometimes when you talk to them. Hmm. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the looks that they give you. Mm -hmm. They look at you like, <clears throat> and what you're saying is wild, or like what you're saying is like, out there, yeah, they, yeah. They look like it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Like they, they look like the face on like, well, mm -hmm. now nah, that can't happen. Like yo, you just, you just talking big, and it's like, no, nah, you just talking small, and that's why that's what your problem mm -hmm. is. You know what I mean? Like that's why you where you at, and we ain't there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's because you can't wrap your head, you can't, you you can't see it. You know, and it's like, but that's but but it's not like there's anything. The only the only difference, like God isn't, I forget which priest said it, they were like, God isn't a respecter of persons, but he is a respecter of faith. Mm -hmm. And it's like, <coughs> the faith, the faith only comes by hearing. And the hearing by the word, it's like, whenever you hear the word of God, even if it is something that's, to your carnal mind, outlandish. It should still make sense because of, because of who's saying it. It's like at the end of the day, people's problem is they want to bring God down to their understanding. They want to try to they want to try to relegate. They want, it's what we've always said. It's what it's what everybody says. They want to put God in a the box. They want to uh, uh, put God under the microscope and in a petri dish so that they can. You know what I'm saying? They they want to relegate him to their dimension. It's like. Well, if, if that's how you come into God, and this, we talked about this for two videos ago, mm -hmm. it's like, well, then you ain't ever going to receive nothing from God because God starts out, like, at the very end of your intelligence. Like, God's, like, so far beyond that. Like, like God's just smarter than us. And so logic, just basic logic dictates if God is God, that means God is smarter than us. So if God is saying something, then that means he's probably right, but it's like people can't. The end. What it is 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 it's, it's not. It's not even that that doesn't make sense. It's not even that. It's not even that they can't see that much. It's that sin nature, man. It's that ratchet. That's what it is. It's that ratchet. Because because I've I've noted in my own personal life. Like if I was dealing, I'm saying with a certain area of sin, mm -hmm. the sin made me not want to believe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because the sin hates God. Like the sin hates, you know what I'm saying? So it's so it's like in order for me, so it's like you end up, you end up like 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 David talks about he would commune with his heart upon his bed. Mm -hmm. It's like you get still sometimes, and you know what I'm saying, you really like be pondering. It's like God, because what God a lot of times whenever God's speaking, God is it's almost like he'll he'll take whatever he's talking about mm -hmm. and he'll just leave it there <clears throat> for you to think about. And so you're sitting and you're pondering like this entire universe that comes along with this one thing that God's dealing with, and you're comparing it to the current universe you're dealing with. And it's just like, man, but what it means everything over here got to change. I ain't really, I, ain't, I don't even really think I'm ready for that. But then, but, then the, but then the Jesus in you was like, yeah, but this is what we've been waiting for. And, and if we do this, this is, this is boom, boom, bam. Like all of these great, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's weird how that how that process happens but like that's once again once again it's like this is a walk of, it's like we're hit we're, we're tackling this like from a variety of angles it's like i know this is the uh and and it boils it boils back down to what jay was saying and i like how eric has articulated it you know what I'm saying for a while too you always talk about the character of god you know what i'm saying and that's such a you know that's such a formal way but it's so but it's so accurate it's just like yo if god is really god like, and he is, then that means that anytime he speaks, he writes. Yeah, it is. It is. And, you know, and the thing about it is, you just gotta, 
Deal with that reality. Yeah. You know, that's why Jesus said, what he told me, he said, you know, if Abraham see, he told me, would you recognize who I am? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and see, that's the whole thing about it. I'm still astounded when I meet my brethren. And I know that I know that they're anointed because I can tell God's hand is off. Well, then there's that blockage in, yeah. in that particular. But, then, but they can't tell that I'm not your Yeah, there's blockage. Yeah, and I'm going like, wow. And so see, you see it in many different instances. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll see where a person's anointed, but see, like you said, though, sometimes there's so much sin in their life, mm -hmm. they'll see to an extent. Yeah. Because that's what sin, like sin, the Lord was sin. talking, it blind, yeah, it blinds you, and it makes you forget stuff, <laughs> like it does, because, uh, case in point, case in point, and this, this is this is peripheral, but, but it is, but it is poignant, right? <coughs> Here's how we know that sin makes us forget, because when we come out of eternity, everybody's from heaven. Yeah. I don't care how big of a fool they acting now, everybody comes from heaven because all spirits and souls come from God. The moment we were spat out of eternity and into time, here's how you know sin makes you forget because we don't remember nothing from up there. Like the Holy Spirit has to save us, sanctify us, fill, fill us with his spirit, and then that's whenever stuff that God was talking with us before we got to earth, that's whenever he begins to, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but, Minus the spirit of God, as long as sin is like having its way, we can't remember anything from that dimension. The dominant nature, uh, it is a trip. You know, I've, I've really agonized over it because, you know, you realize that bondage that Paul was talking about <clears throat> because you realize that you're your worst enemy. You know, yeah. That's the only thing about here. Yeah, you're yeah, still yeah, your worst yeah, enemy <laughs> because you still got to deal with. This stuff, this this you, your flesh. Mm -hmm. You, know, you got to deal with your soul, and you are always grappling and in a battle with yourself. You know, it's like you go like, man, boy, if it won't for jail, going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> you know, won't for I know I get caught. That makes sense. Man, I would do so and so and so. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> it was like, down boy, down boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. It's like, it's like you tell yourself, well, you know, nah, you know, some people make little, little cute things they say about it on Facebook. <laughs> and I, I laugh, but there's some validity to it. You know, I think what your, what your cousin put, the one up there, mm -hmm. like a little boy saying, Sometimes people do stuff you want to slap them, mm -hmm. and you sit with your child. You done told Jesus you're trying to do do better, right, right. trying to do good, and you sit there, you know, trying not to give them the side yeah. out too much, you know. But you That's know, it's, real, yeah. it's like you get challenged totally. along the way, and so it's, it's very, very real. But Jesus was always reminding people. Saint John, again, the eleventh chapter, the twenty fifth verse. <clears throat> what is he saying to him? And Jesus is talking to Martha. And he says, Martha. Okay, he says, Jesus says her and the resurrection of life. You know. <clears throat> he said, but believe in me. Though he were dead, yet shall he live. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. And what he says, and whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Right. So you're still asking people, do you believe? Do you believe? I believe in what I'm saying to you. Guess what? Jesus is still asking the same stuff. Do you believe? See, a lot of y'all saying y'all believe. But the final analysis, no, you don't. And I felt virtue go out of me when I said that. That hit some people. Because, see, the Lord really told me I didn't need to talk about this tonight. Because some of y'all had a standstill. And the reason being is because you don't believe. You're believing on the concept, not in it. And I know I'm not just being semantical when I'm saying it. I'm saying, do you believe in what Jesus is saying? Not the concept as it's just written in the Bible. Just because you can quote it, I'm not impressed. I know people who quote scripture far better than I can. 
but they don't believe some of the stuff I believe. Now it helps if they've memorized it because I can repeat that or say paraphrase it and they know what I'm talking about. They know it's the word and they'll hit them. But if you don't believe it, I can quote that same scripture and it'll just be dead. I think one of the things that comes along like with belief is because uh, I've noticed this like putting together messages and this was kind of like something that I was telling God like once I realized this particular process I was like okay I don't need to do it any other way it's like anytime like God would like start speaking to me about something that he would tell me like yo I need you to share this with people mm -hmm. the times where like the message has been the most potent is whenever I applied the message to myself. You know what I'm saying? I remember, and one of the things that helped me realize that was whenever you were dealing with the protege a couple years ago, and you and my were both saying, this person doesn't have the discernment to recognize that that, put, that particular word was for him first. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what I mean? It's like one of the, one of the, uh, the main principles for like promotion in the kingdom of God because we're talking, we're basically like talking about how the kingdom works. Like if we were in heaven, all of these principles would apply on earth as it is in heaven. It's like one of the first principles is, it's like, yo, if God speaks to you about a particular thing, whether you're supposed to share or whatever, whether you're supposed to share it or not, like the, the first thing that that word is designed to do is it's designed to like literally set up shop and reside in you and and become a part of you like really until the rapture until you die mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying because that's a uh, that's something that I think a lot of times um, gets overlooked whenever people be talking about things about the Bible the Lord had me say this to somebody a while back and it stuck with me as I was saying it. Mm -hmm. I was telling them that everything in Christianity is cumulative you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it was like, but that makes perfect sense. It's like God's trying to teach us, like if God can teach you, if God can teach you how to have faith, like let's say that God wants a hundred dollars. Like let's say that you know what I'm saying you're in a meeting and God says, Yo, you know what I'm saying? I want you to be one of these people to give a hundred dollars in the offering. And all you got is ten dollars. And then God says, Well now go ahead and get that ten dollars. <coughs> I can multiply that and give you 90 more. Like, that's cake. Mm -hmm. So then you learn how to, by faith, multiply $10 to 100 Well, then 10 years later on down in your life, you end up and you need a million dollars and you only have 100000 Well, then because you learned that concept 10 years ago, it's cumulative. Now you can apply that same. But but the thing is, is that because you mature, now you have more. But it's still, it's st everything same. still comes from that seed. You know what I'm saying? Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here a little, there a little. Yeah, that's how it works. And it's, and so that's, that. So, so that actually tackles like a number of questions that people might have. It's like, yo, first off, like, why is this whole book like why you got uh, stressing on the belief? Because belief is the is the foundation. Everybody that's in heaven right now believes. Heaven heaven operates on belief. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, is that these people, they're so much smarter than us that they do stuff immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like like stuff gets done real fast in heaven because everybody's like, yeah, God's right there. All this light, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> like all these, you know, what I'm saying? all this majesty, and we have to learn, like you say, what on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. And here's what people don't realize too: you need to go back and read the eleventh chapter of Hebrews, because it explains how faith people subdue kingdoms. Right? Did what subdue kingdoms? So we're talking about going into somebody else's territory. Yeah. And taking it over. Yeah, you're right. You and know, and it's setting up your joint. Yeah, that's hard. You know, if you go back and read that chapter and say, "Wait a minute, let me get something out of it," mm -hmm. they did. You know, it, it's it's known as the, the the Hall of Fame of Faith. Mm -hmm. um, go back and read it, cause see, <clears throat> some of, some of y'all are are watching these videos and watching us live. 
but you're not getting out what you should be out of it. And it's because of where your faith is. So God is challenging you to believe his word. And I know, uh, you know, you're probably being shaken because you thought you believed, you found you don't. But see, the thing about it is, the cool part about it is, now that you know it, now you can rectify it. So again, like you said about being an alcoholic, you don't, if you never admit it, you got a problem. <clears throat> you know, if you're a drug addict, mm -hmm. and you never admit that you're a drug addict, you're never, you're never going to get help. Yeah. And can, can I add another point, of, point to that? Like, the analogy that came to mind immediately whenever you said that is like what the Lord's doing with me right now with music. It's like, I forget who said this. I forget who said it. But like some master musician or some really good musician, they told me they were like, once you get to a certain level of like proficiency, like in all your fundamentals, mm -hmm. they were like, at that point, the only way you can get better, they're like, it, it, it takes, it's, it's harder to get better because first off, it, it, it's easy to fall into complacency because you're functionally, you know what I'm saying? Because you're functionally sound, you're fundamentally sound. But, and that's why it's harder to get better because the, the pull to just be me or whatever. But then here's what they said though. They said that the if you pay attention, that the that the, the improvement that you'll make is always gonna be in very specific and very concentrated areas. You know what I'm saying? So it's like what the Lord's been doing with me lately is it's like he's been having me study very, very, very specific things. And what I've had to do is, and this is just real, I've had to just unlearn a lot of stuff, like certain precepts, you know, because before I was formally trained, I was self-taught, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like, there was just a certain, there were just certain paradigms, there were certain defaults that I just set up in my mind. But here's how I knew that I was wrong, because I'm listening to drummer over here kill and I can't kill like that like I can try but it ain't working but I'm looking at this I got proof that mm -hmm. there is another level so I'm going back and I'm studying I'm, I'm being very 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 meticulous and it's like oh, okay it's the way that this cat holds his sticks mm -hmm. well I've been taught to hold my sticks like this and it's like this is what happens to people it's like they get around God will introduce them to a, to another ministry. They they've been they've been praying like God. Now I know I need a breakthrough. I know I need to go deeper in you. Now they get around a new ministry. Now they're checking out a new drummer, and this drummer is holding their sticks. This drummer is doing all of these things that upsets all their initial paradigms, and they don't want to let go of those original paradigms. But this drummer is doing stuff that you know you can't do. Like this particular ministry is doing, saying things, manifesting things in God that you know you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? In fact, you know that you know that God brought you to this point. Mm -hmm. But it's just a matter of uh, of just letting go of old paradigms. That's what the there's certain stories. That are, uh, and whenever I say stories, I just mean narratives. I don't mean like fairy tales. I mean like there are certain instances in scripture that are there for just universal, like this is the main point that this story, that this instance is trying to convey. And whenever God took the children out of Egypt and had them in the wilderness, the wilderness is always used to, uh, to, to take, to root up all the dumb stuff and then to implant, to impart all of the right stuff. Like, that's what, anytime you see wilderness in scripture, you know what I'm saying? And check this out. The children of Israel went through the wilderness. Jesus Christ, the son of God, went into the wilderness for 40 days. He sure did. So it's like, so the wilderness experience is just like a deep, you cannot escape that part. And what happens is, is that so many, I remember I.O. Resi Jafu did a message on this called Don't Die in the Wilderness. Yeah, and whenever yeah. I heard it, it's, it shook me to my core because I was like, yo, that's so real. Like, you see so many people, they, 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 they end up dying in the wilderness. And the reason, the fundamental reason how come that people die in that crucial period of transition from one level to another is because they want to take all the baggage from this level into this level. And, and the thing is, is that it, it never works because the path to Jesus Christ, the path to unrighteousness is wide. 
So that means you can keep all your baggage. But the path to Jesus Christ is very straight and narrow. And the closer you get to the speed of light, the closer you get to how fast God is moving, the less stuff you got to have with you. Because God is everything. God is everything that you need. So there's no need for you to bring all these other things. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's good baggage. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people, you know what I'm saying, it's not, it's not even necessarily like bad things they want to bring. But it's just God just wants to completely... Uh, hit the reboot button. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with starting over. We we did a video on that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's in the archives. It's like there's nothing wrong with starting over. That's the whole. That's what the concept of the resurrection is about. It's like the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, everything that he did on earth, he had already done in heaven before. And whenever he got to earth, the reason how come he was able to endure it? The Bible says. That uh, in, in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, whenever it starts off, it says, after it names all of those people and that pops it, after it names the hallmark of faith in Hebrews 11, it says, now that you see this great cloud of witnesses, mm -hmm. right? It says, uh, 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 then it talks about Jesus, and it says, who is the author of the finisher, author and finisher of our faith, who, before, he, who because of the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and is now seated on the right hand. But the Bible says that for the joy that was set before him. You know what I mean? It was like Jesus saw he was able to. Jesus' challenge was the same challenge that we have, but it was in an even greater capacity because Jesus was Jesus is God. See, it's like we try to do it, we try to do this thing on our own, and we ain't even got no superpowers. But Jesus had to do, he, Jesus had to completely rely on God, and he could have just easily done it himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, Jesus Jesus could have walked on water because Jesus wanted to walk on water, but Jesus walked on, Jesus waited until God said, all right, man, I think it's time for you to walk on water to really, to really show these disciples, you know what I'm saying, how, you know, how powerful, you know, I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, so yeah. saying, like, yeah. yeah. If, if Jesus didn't do it by faith, then we could do it. Right. Because that was the whole premise. It's like we know he can do it in and of himself, but that doesn't help him. That doesn't help us do it. Right. It's like if you would have just came and been God, okay, well, we can't do that. So <laughs> what does it even matter? But because he had to do it the way that he did it, would completely strip himself. Right. He had to take all that stuff away. Because we don't have any of that. We don't come into the world with godly people. We lose it. We forget it. Right. Yeah, totally. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason that Jesus didn't forget it because he didn't have his nature. Exactly. Which makes sense. He always knew who he was. Mm -hmm. So, what you're saying is that pretty much, like, if Jesus had to have faith, don't have faith if Jesus had <clears throat> to be tried <clears throat> and his faith had to be tested, yeah. then the only way for this to work for anybody, you know, is for those same steps to be taken. No totally. Around. Jesus had to forget everything he knew. I'm glad I'm glad that now we're in Philippians 2. Are we okay, Pop? Yeah, fine. We're, we're in Philippians 2. Because, see, Jesus, like, and I said this to Pop before we came on, like, the Lord's really been dealing with me about the simplicity of the cross. And it's, it's from, it's precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. If you can believe, it's not even be able to understand. If you can just believe that the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ is true, then everything else about the Bible is going to make perfect sense. Because it's the Bible is all about God's plan of redemption. How he 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 knew that Satan was going to do what he was going to do, but God already had a plan B before Satan even tried to do it. Mm -hmm. Like that's how once again, that's how smart God is. Mm -hmm. God already had Jesus. This is why the Bible says that Jesus is a lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the found part of the foundation of the world was, you know what I'm saying, whatever Lucifer was doing his thing. So Jesus was the lamb that was slain before that even happened. You know what I'm saying? Because in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. So, the simplicity of the cross, there are certain details. Once once you believe, okay, Jesus, Jesus did, okay, Jesus was on earth. That's historical fact. Jesus died at the cross. That's another historical fact. And wait a second, Jesus rose from the dead. That's a historical fact. Okay, cool. Level one. Level two is seeing everything that Jesus had to do. In order to do what he did, I know that sounds crazy, but but okay, Jesus had to 
in Philippians 2, it talks about, let this mind be, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, you know what I'm saying, having everything that made God, God, but he humbled himself, he stripped himself, and he came in likeness as a man, you know what I mean? Uh, and it says, and he even, it says he even lowered himself beyond that. Hang on, I got it written down, because that's the part <laughs> I'm studying right now. Yo, this joint's powerful. It says, let this attitude of purpose and humble mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And the reason why is because Jesus, the only, Jesus knew he had to believe God, that God was going to get him out of that tight. You know what I'm saying? Like he, Jesus had to have faith. All right, God. All right, Dad. I've I done everything you said now. Now, you know what I'm saying? Don't mess around and forget my soul. Like, yo, don't leave. You know what I'm saying? That's what David was talking about. It says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Let him be your example in humility, who, although being essentially one with God in the form of God, possessing all the attributes which make God God, he did not think that this equality with God was something to be eagerly grasped or retained. So, Jesus was willing to let all of that go. It says, but he stripped himself of all privileges and rightful dignity so as to assume the guise of a servant slave in that he became like men and was born a human being. So that's, that's, that's one way he humbled himself. But then number two, he went even further than that. And after he had appeared in human form, he abased and humbled himself still further and carried his obedience to the extreme death, even the death of a cross. What it means is that gods don't die. Like they don't. Like gods don't die. But Jesus was willing to, even after he became a crappy human being, because human beings suck. Like I got proof. You know what I'm saying? I can show you people on Facebook who suck. You know what I'm saying? Jesus, even after he lowered himself and became a human being, after that, he went to the very, he, he did the very thing that everybody is scared of, which is death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Most yeah, the most, yeah, it, exactly. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like he just died. It wasn't like, you know what I mean? Like he just like died of, you know, like a, like a silent death. Like, yo, he was openly humiliated. He got beat down in front of everybody because people talk about the passion of Christ and they talk like, man, Jesus got beat. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like, yo, so saying that to say in, in reference to you, who's having trouble believing God because you got to start all over again. The person, if you compare what you got to let go to what Jesus had to let go, you ain't really got to let go of nothing that big. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, well, my pastor said, screw what your pastor said. You know what I'm saying? If that's, if that's the only thing that's holding, if that's the only thing standing between you and, and your miracle, if it's something that somebody said or somebody hurt you, you know what I mean? Or somebody prayed for you and it didn't work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the reason how come that the example, the reason why God always reminds us of what Jesus had to go through in Scripture is because our problems in compare, our human problems compared to God problems are so illiputian. Like, you know what I mean? And so that's how come that, because at first that used to bother me. I'm like, well, yeah, God, I'm going through this. Why you got me reading this passage telling me what Jesus went through? You know what I'm saying? You know, my carnal mind, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just like, I know, I know Jesus went through this, but Jesus was God. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord, like, really had to make that, you know, this was like a while back. You know what I mean? But, like, the Lord really had to make that apparent. It's just like, well, nah, dog. The reason why I do that is because there's a certain clarity that comes when you compare your situations to Jesus' situations. Because Jesus had the hardest problem of all, and he came out all right. You know what I mean? Like, it's safe to say that Jesus is doing all right right now. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why Jesus did what he did was so that we could come out on the other side of our circumstances, you know, all right. And as a Christian, every everything that we need to overcome any circumstance in life literally lies in the power of the cross. Mm -hmm. Like, the Lord was uh, saying this to me uh, the other night. He was talking about, like, applying the power of the cross to every circumstance in your life. And at first, you know what I'm saying? It sounded cool, but I was just like, you know, it, but since I've been studying it, it's really been popping up. I'm like, wait a second, man. Mm -hmm. Everything that, everything about like, you know what I'm saying, the multi-dimensions, you know what I mean? That's in the cross. Mm -hmm. The past, present, and future, that's in the cross. Mm -hmm. We quote all the scriptures about the 39 stripes and the heel, and yeah. that's in the cross. cross. You know what I mean? It talks about how he was made poor so we could be rich, so my paper is in the cross. Like, everything that we need as Christians is in the cross, and this is how come that 
everything about Christianity supersedes what some man is saying. Because before some man could say it, Jesus had to do it at, at the cross. And here's what's, so, here's what's so interesting about the cross. Jesus did everything on the cross before the world was even created. <laughs> yeah, he did it in eternity. You know, that's the whole thing about, you know, it's, it's, it's learning how to see it. But most of us haven't really been taught Right. The proper perspective. Totally. So a lot of times the pastors aren't telling the right stuff. Yeah. And see what happens is you're dealing with you saying stuff my pastors never said. And it's hard for them to get past that. Right. Because, you know, right. because see because my past is important. Right. You see here what they miss is that Jesus said, If you Abraham see, you will know who I am. Right. So when I'm speaking as in you know in Jesus' instead, if you know the Spirit of God, yeah. That's what supersedes this. Yeah, and see, this is why folks get messed up with their pastor. They have pastor's religion. So I'm gonna ask you this: Does your pastor pray for the sick? Does he cast out devils? Do you have miracles? How many yeses did you have? Okay. Guess what? I had those things in my ministry, and have for well over thirty some years. So. It boils down to either you believe the word of Jesus like I do or you don't. It's not set upon what your pastor says. It's not set upon what your denomination says. It's what the word of God says. Um, now, my son brought up something. I'm glad he did because <clears throat> this is the other thing that the Lord wants me to remind people of too. The Lord is dealing with me, excuse me, many of y'all in dreams and visions. And you're having a problem understanding some of the things that you're seeing. But he just said, Jesus did all those things before the foundation of the world. They were done in eternity. Okay? One of the ways eternity works in us is through dreams and visions. And the way it happens is this. God will show you something in the future. But here's what you have to understand. It doesn't always mean it has to emphatically happen. God will show you bad stuff that could happen. Yeah. If you're in interaction with certain people. So he'll let you know well, you had to watch the friendship with this person. Mm -hmm. Because down the line, they're going to do this to you. Mm -hmm. So then when you know that, then you do what? <laughs> you do what <laughs> the Bible said. Start laughing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Start laughing. The Bible says it, but my daddy always used to use the term. Only person I really knew to say it. Daddy said, that's what a person you pass and repass. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, you know, you, you know, you keep your distance. Yeah. And as, as the old... The old uh, Dion Warwick song say, walk on by, mm -hmm. don't That's stop. Right. Yeah. You know, in other words, you know, you, you're cordial, mm -hmm. but you don't get intimate with that person. Because God will show you that person's going to turn on you later. Mm -hmm. And you're perplexed sometimes by what you're seeing because it may be somebody <laughs> that you excuse me, maybe, maybe family. Maybe a casual person that you're, maybe somebody you've been around your life. Mm -hmm. But God has shown you something that's coming up that doesn't look good. What God wants you to do is He wants you to do Barney Five too, nip it in the bud. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to cut folk off or you limit their access to you. Right. Because if they get that access, they're going to cut your throat. Now, <clears throat> God showed me something. I can't tell you in its entirety, but it has to do with the prince over this region. Which is, I've been in, in contact with prince over this region 28 years I moved here. And uh, there are many people that we have talked about that have been bowing down to the prince. Some preachers have uh, compromised. And some folks just out and out straight up worship. They're, they're, they're not even uh, <clears throat> professing to be Christians. Some are by faith. But they're actually burning incense, doing chants and incantations, 
going to grow to high places. Spoken of in the Old and New Testament. Um, it's real. But the Lord showed me this week stuff that the enemy is going to try to do. So let me let me just read this word to you out of Joel 2.28. And it shall come to pass as without put my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And also upon the service and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. What I want you to understand is God can show you what can come up in the future. But it, it, it's not always emphatic. In other words, he'll show you what can happen. And what he's doing is he's, he's forewarning you. But you can pray and, and stop it. You can abort it. And you can change how you deal with the people to where they can't have the access to you to do certain things. And I've already seen several things after I saw what I did about the prince, Cyrus. Mm -hmm. uh, so see, the cool thing about it is, is God will show you danger. People years ago went how I got a certain stuff, but God showed it to me. Mm -hmm. So I knew what the enemy was planning. So I prayed about it. Sometimes I just didn't do certain things the way they thought I was going to do it. <clears throat> that way, and you know, they're perplexed now. Although as I begin to tell things I've known for for uh, 35 years, now something's making more sense to them now. Mm -hmm. Then I realize, oh, dang, he knew the whole time. Yeah, I knew. Just had to tell you that I knew. Mm -hmm. So, um, God wants you to understand, pay attention to the dreams that you're having. And try to record them as much as you can. And just pay attention to what God's showing you. Because many times word of knowledge or the gift of prophecy is going to be through a dream or a vision. Mm -hmm. It's not going to always be somebody will walk up to you and say, and the Lord will say unto you. Or somebody will say, well, the Lord is showing me so and so. Sometimes God's going to speak to you directly, and it's going to be in a dream or a vision. So pay close attention. Because God wants to show you what the enemy is doing, too. And I'm always praying 10 steps. Sometimes I'm praying, I pray the Lord keeps us 20 steps ahead of the enemy. When I pray those prayers, it's for real. It's for a reason. Because the enemy is out here trying to do stuff. And I'm trying to stay ahead of him. I want it to be as it was when King said, who's telling my secrets? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they said, no, King, we're not telling your secrets. We're loyal to you. But guess what? Over there they got a prophet. They got a prophet from God. And he's, he's in one bed chamber. In other words, he's the one who can see. And so when you even sit down to plot and scheme, he sees what you're doing. And so they're doing the countermeasures. Mm -hmm. And so that's what God will do. God will show you the plan of the enemy. So you and, yeah, you can You can abort. You can stop it. I've, I've, I've had people talk and say stuff to me in a dream. I'm going, wow. Mm -hmm. You know? But see, the Lord's let me know what? The intents. Yeah, the thoughts and intents of their heart. Thoughts intents of their heart. Yeah, the, in, the, in, the Greek word is enthumesis. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, the intents of people's hearts. God will show you people's intentions, what's in their heart. God will show you people that's for you and against you. And a lot of times the folk that's against you are good in the heart and your face and folk that's for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right there trying to sell it to yeah, you. Yeah, there's very few people gonna come at you straight and you know that they, that you that your enemy. Could be somebody in your job scheming now against you. Or in your school or somebody in your family. Don't think of folk to you that they won't scheme. This bottle is full from the first book all the way through. It's family cutting up with other family. So I'm not impressed if folk want to bring up that we family. No. No, especially when I know how they've been acting the whole time. Exactly. What gets to me is that they had this. They haven't had enough sense to realize 
the way I've been handling them. Right. That I don't trust them. Yeah. That, that's what's funny about it. Mm. They know they're crooked toward me, mm. but they haven't added up the way I've been handling them. Right. But you're treating them like that because you because you know they're crooked. They, yeah. they know they know their intentions, but they ain't got enough intelligence to be like, wait a second. He's being distanced because he record, because he knows mine. Yeah, it's, it's like they ain't, they ain't figuring it out. I like that though. To me, that's like that's like stealth technology, or that's like cloak. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like on your part, because it's you know you're still able to. Because uh, I've I've seen you and my man around our ridiculous family members, and if I didn't know the inside story, I would think everything was fine. Like on you got like the weight you guys have. Uh, Shown the love of Christ, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like genuinely, and like ain't choked these people out, you know what I mean? Ain't stuffed them in the trunk of the car because we got pretty big. Ain't on the car to own. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like you, you guys, like you be around them, and uh, you know, it's like, nah, man, it's like, dude, I, I would think that everything is fine, but that just shows you that Jesus is real. And it's crazy how Je Jesus can make you forget stuff too temporarily. It's like, you, you know what I'm saying? You be like, man, I'm trying to get mad. Yeah, but, yeah, but sometimes I'm praying the whole time while I'm talking to him. See, really so sometimes I'm praying the whole time I'm talking to him because I have to. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> people, and people don't people don't recognize that. They don't know it. And see, they ain't stopping and thinking, well, we know we lying on them. Right. Just like your cousin reacted when we had to do them. She about jumped out of the seat when I said that. Yeah, before. I'm telling lies. Yeah. Yeah. But she about fell apart. She got scared. But, <clears throat> yeah, she was like, wait a second. What, what lies do they know about? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it's like it's like people, people are a trip because they'll do their dirt. And then, you know, they're telling lies. And then it's like when you say something, all of a sudden they're falling all the pieces. Well, what makes you think I didn't know you, you know you were hitting them up to start with? That's what I said to myself about seeing with blind people mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they're listening to their root doctors and prognosticators. They got to be really stupid listening to them because, mm -hmm. all right, I know that I'm trying to cut your throat. Mm -hmm. don't, I know what I'm doing. And you've been treating me a certain way. Well, does that make sense that they treat me a certain way because I know I'm trying to do it wrong. Well, if they treat me a certain way, isn't it a possibility they might know right. what I'm trying to do to them? Yeah, that person, I do what you're saying. It's like you're purposely not giving them access to, to those areas so they can do you wrong. Yeah. And, they, and, and they still don't get that the reason why you're not giving them access is because you know what they're really trying yeah. to do. Yeah, but Satan's a dumb dude. Yeah. Like, Satan's dumb and so is his followers. Yeah, because you know, what happens is it's because you have to cuss them out. Yeah. Because you haven't gotten physical with them, they think, oh, well, they don't know but so much. That's why people look so stupid in Rocky Mount after all these years. Mm -hmm. uh, enough was told of people going, like, wait a minute, he really does know what's going on. Mm -hmm. We thought he didn't know. Now you, you talk, you're referring to the to the Masons. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Shriners, yeah. And possibly even Boulay members. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know, it's like, it's like they ain't got no sense to know that I've known. You know, I'm going shaking people's hands up. I've known them all, all my life. And I've not seen them. I've been living here 28 years or some. I didn't see them living in bro, because of how my, my ship was. Can I say this to you? Or can I say this to them, really? The scriptural example that we're giving, because, see, some people think we've gone off on a diatribe. <laughs> Jesus knew Judas, who Judas was the entire time. Yeah! <laughs> so, bam. What did he say? Did I not choose you twelve and one of you is a devil? Yeah, you knew that when he chose you. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like but the scripture had to be fulfilled. Right. And it's like I tell people the Bible says clearly that a man's enemies shall be those of his own household. That doesn't mean just your immediate family. It means your extended family. It means siblings, it means Aunts, uncles, cousins, you know, that's still your household. Mm -hmm. And people can't see it. You know, you still can't see the forest for the tree. It's in this book. Mm -hmm. And it's real. So I'm not impressed because folk are kidding to me. I don't know that I can trust folk because they're kidding to me. Because my family, when I got saved, went crazy. They all have a funny act to start with. Mm -hmm. But then when I 
come out of my backslidden state at 25. I got a cousin. I tried to introduce my wife. She wouldn't even come over to where we were. She's never formally been introduced to my wife. I'm down at the park playing basketball. I ain't seen my cousin in a while, and I call her two or three times. And she stares and looks at a distance and throws up her hand and goes on about her business. Mm. I want to come over and meet your mama. She's never met her. Mm. She's never met your mama. Been married to her 35 years. Jason's closer to me than she's been right. right now. Yeah, because she was probably distance from here to the corner. Mm. I was out there playing ball right. at Clark Park. Yeah. And I called her several times. And this is a cousin that when she was like maybe, I don't know, Somewhere between 12 and 14, I bought a Spidell bracelet. And that was that was real hip back in the day. Mm. Have a Spidell ID bracelet. Mm. And you know she asked me to buy it for her, buy her something for her birthday. Mm. Uh, I could because that's when I was working my first job. So I remember I went to Rex Jewelers. I remember what happened today and bought her a Spidell. You, you asked somebody back in the day about a Spidell ID bracelet. Mm -hmm. That was that oh, that was hip. Mm -hmm. So she was at a very young age. Had a Spidell bracelet mm -hmm. that I bought her. Mm -hmm. You know? Because y'all were cool. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, we were. That was my cousin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, oh, yeah. she was trying to always put me up with her little young friends all the time. Mm -hmm. I talked about the one that got, got, got married with a hug, hug mother, and she mm -hmm. said, I saw your hug mother, and I told her mother was my cousin. But see, she was the cousin on the other side. Okay. On her mother's mama's side, she killed the murder. Mm -hmm. But she didn't know I was killing the murder. Mm -hmm. I might be more kid to murder than she is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, mm -hmm. <laughs> Murder's my first cousin. She might be a first cousin too, I don't know. But on the other side, on my mom's side. When I told her that I, murder was my cousin, she literally was stunned to hear that. Um, but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> this is real. We're talking about the reality of Christ. Jason, what if I said many times you just repeated Wednesday night you, uh, that you, you've seen it true? People hate Jesus. Yes, people hate Jesus. Jesus said, the world hated me, the world will hate you. People hate Jesus, mm -hmm. and they hate the Jesus in you mm -hmm. if you're saved. They do. They hate Jesus. Mm -hmm. and a lot of folks hate Jesus are church folk. <clears throat> I didn't say Christians. I said church folk. Mm -hmm. They're church folk. In other words, just hate people in the synagogue. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, they, and just like the rulers and the people in, in the Sanhedrin, mm -hmm. It's the pastors, deacon trustees, stewards, mm -hmm. church members, choir members, choir directors, piano players, organ players, ushers. You know, they hate Jesus. And they can't stand you. It's the reality of what's going on. Um, many of you tonight, you can uh, move to a new place. Just by saying, God, I'm sorry, I didn't have believe. Just, just say, I'm sorry, and uh, just believe. It's just that simple. Um, once you realize that you don't believe, all you got to do is say, Lord, uh, help my unbelief. What did the man do when uh, he had this sick child? The disciples prayed for him and didn't get belief. He went to the master and said, Master, I had your, you know, the disciples pray for my son, and he didn't get healed, you know. But he said, you know, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. So he could be vacillating. I think many times you are. Mm -hmm. You do believe, but then, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you're having a problem believing some other things. But Jesus said, what this time will come, well, but by fasting and praying. That is true. Mm -hmm. and sometimes you can believe, but uh, sometimes you deal with the devil that's a little, little tougher. And you do have to turn your plate down. Mm -hmm. Um, so, at any rate, <coughs> just believe. If you will just <laughs> simply believe. I, and here's this other thing I spoke about the other week. I want to say it again, too. We have this expression, you know, that we all have heard. <coughs> if it sounds too good to be true, yeah, it probably is. is. It probably is. And see, that's what some of y'all still think about this Bible. But it's the complete opposite of that. Yeah. 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 You know, I was thinking something earlier. I'm glad you brought that point up just now. We autumn we already there's proof that we already 
can believe unconditionally. Take someone, take a woman who's head over heels in love with a man. There may be some times she may know it's some things by him that's jacked up, but anytime he says something, she holds on to it with her life. Man, please. And, and a man will do it too. He'll hold on to what she says with his life, with everything he has, forsaking all of it, mm -hmm. whether they're married or not. Uh, they will hold on to what that person has said with their life, even in the moments when nothing at all looks like what they said. When everything is going against what this person said, they still, no, nah, I love them. You know, that, that in and of itself proves we have a, yeah, it's already built in. Mm -hmm. We can already do it. We already do it. It's just changing mm -hmm. who we're doing it. With. Yeah, you're right. Because, it's, you know, because like you say, it's, it's still the power of the will. choice. Mm -hmm. It's the to, will. You have to so, wanting to believe sometimes. Most cases more important than believing. Yeah, because you you you, 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 you got to make that Choose decision. Yeah, that, was, that was that guy's issue. It's like it's not that he didn't want to believe. Mm -hmm. If he didn't want to believe, you'd have a bigger issue altogether. Is that I do believe, but some parts I don't, but I want to mm -hmm. help me with that. In other words, mm -hmm. in other words, I went to your disciples and that you 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 hand trained them, right. and nothing nothing jumped off. Right. Even though I know other people, I don't see these other people that I know are sick, mm -hmm. but. My son didn't get it, so I don't quite understand that. Yeah, I was good till I saw that. Yeah, all of a sudden, it's like, I was straight till I saw that. You know, and that's what I'm trying to get people just to see, you know, don't let that be a hang up. You know, uh, in fact, by the Bible being translated from one language to another, things get lost in translation. You know, King Denver just said, you know, uh, so it comes by here and here and by. You know, by the word of God, it's really it really should be by a word of God. Mm. But when you hear the word of God, that's really a better translation. <coughs> um, and it's hearing the word of God. That makes sense because it, it, a rhema word is different from the logos because a rhema word is the word is the exact word that you need to hear right then and there, mm -hmm. and that particular word has all the faith in it. To make whatever's supposed to happen happen, because that's why that word was sent. The yeah. word was sent to make that thing that you need to believe happen. Yeah, it becomes alive. Yeah, and what like <coughs> even speaking linguistically, like isn't like prime prime example like the uh, like Arabic language or whatever. Like one word can mean like ten different things, right? Hebrew is even more yeah. more more depth than that. Yeah, Hebrew, we had a a word in Hebrew. Man, it could be fifty things, you know, you know, depending on where it is. Um, overall, the translators did okay, but certain things, certain things, they missed it. They missed it, and it could be a better translation. And that's one of the reasons why we have these different versions. Let's face it; nobody speaks this anymore. Um, you know, uh, that's why I like the Amplified Bible. You know, uh, but I do want to study Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. And I believe for the deal go down, I will. Uh, <clears throat> I think it will it really help me to understand the Bible better by being able to, uh, to see the original languages. And I think it, it's helped that I took Latin. That, uh, you know, I understand that depending on where something is, and even then with the placement of words, you realize that you can say it different way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, you know, and depending on how you start the phrasing, you can go into a lot of different variations from there. So um, I'm looking forward to how God's going to do it. You know, I'm still in prayer about it. Um, I know there's some online stuff that I can take, and I'm still praying about I may may do it. I would kind of like to to go to a temple here. Uh, there's a rabbi who teaches Hebrew here, but I'm just still in prayer, see how God's going to do it. Um, I have bookmarked some uh, site, a site that's, says, you know, that they will teach you online. So, you know, I just had to see how God's going to do it. But um, just believe. If you, you know, some of y'all too, you know, you're having a problem with the distance. But I got news for you. The same God that's here is where you are. And he'll manifest where you are. When Jesus, and I'm glad that 
uh, Jason spoke this, he, 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 again with the centurion, remember the centurion was not even a Hebrew. And at that time, Jesus said, I come to the house, lost house of Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you check it out, though, people who were not in the house of Israel were getting healed, too. Right. Why? Because they believed on him. That was it. See, they believed on him. Yeah. You know, so, this same Jesus, I, I say it as a, as a, quoting how the angel said it, you know, he's not here in the cave. He's not that he's gone. You know, so that same Jesus, the same Jesus that spoke to the centurion will speak to you now. And he's saying, whatever your problem is, you're healed. You know, I have to remind myself. It is rainbow, just using that passage. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, when I was talking, what I just quoted. Yeah, just yeah. Nice. yeah, you know, so. Um, just believe. You see, I'm reminded of some things that some people said to me, and you have to re be reminded when people speak the word of knowledge mm -hmm. and they make a, de a, a, a declared a statement to you, mm -hmm. <coughs> they're doing what Jesus did. <coughs> Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. Because mm -hmm. he told them, he, he, he said, your faith has made the servant whole. And the Bible says, what, in that same self hour, they were healed. So Jesus, what, he gave us, he spoke the word, that, uh, the confession or procession of your faith. Mm -hmm. what, what, did, what did Jesus say? Have, it said, the, King, the King James Version says, have faith in God, but the literal translation is, have the faith of God. In other words, when God speaks something, he knows it's come to pass. He knows it's come to pass before he even spoke it. So in other words, having the same belief in what he said that he has in his own yeah, because it, it says what? It says that when God speaks, it's always true. Mm -hmm. It's always truth. So it's a matter of believing what he says. That's our challenge because when God says something, then we have to believe it in spite of what the enemy does to try to throw us off. And so uh, don't let this, to, some of y'all, you're so hung up on laying on hands. That's not the only way to convey healing. And you got to learn that. <clears throat> I get blessed watching TV and videos and DVDs. And the Spirit of God touches me because I learned how to train my spirit to reach out. <clears throat> I can be sitting in a congregation of 10,000 people and still get blessed. And I've literally done that. I've been in meetings with over 10,000 people, at least 10,000 people. I know that I know that place in uh, in, uh, uh, <laughs> in Nashville holds at least 10,000 people. At least 10,000 people. I believe there's been five or 6,000 or more when we were in the tent with Shambach years ago in Winston-Salem. That's a big tent. You know, so the thing about it is, is you can still get touched without somebody laying hands on you. That's not the only method. Some of y'all see the Lord speaking to me. Some of y'all get hung up because you're either watching it live or you're watching a videotape. That has no bearing on it. God's spirit is just as prominent. It'll still be just as prominent 10 years from now if this is played. I get blessed from Catherine Kuhlman uh, tapes. Uh, the William Branham tape I was watching and listening a while ago, I wasn't even born. I don't think that was made. So it, time has no bearing on it. I can read something Smith Wigglesworth uh, preached or said and get a blessing from it. I wasn't thought about. So you got to learn how to reach out into the realm of the spirit. There is no distance or time in the spirit realm. So you got I know I realize some of the stuff you have not been taught, but if you're gonna come up, you know, you gotta come up. Um, your pastor doesn't know this stuff. And a lot of the other people that are probably in your denomination or your conference don't know these things either. But that's no reason for you not to learn. You gotta you gotta find out, you know, what did Jesus say when uh, the disciples saw Somebody else casting out devils and they got upset. They got 
jealous. Master, uh, they're, they're saying things and not one of us. You said, you know, I got many sheep of other folds. So, you know, your denomination is not the only folk that's saved. Well, our folk get messed up with that. You know? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they got pastor's religion. If it ain't the way you yeah. do it. Yeah. You know, know or, or their bishop. You know, or their presiding elder. If they're not, if you know, they're they, they the church of what's happening now. Yeah, you know, so you got you to gotta come out of that mess. It's the church of Jesus Christ, period. Either you're born again into his church or you're not. It's got nothing to do with denomination. It's got nothing to do with socioeconomic background. It's got nothing to do with your race. It's got nothing to do with any of those things. Either you've given your life to Jesus Christ or you haven't. Or you're a person that's pursuing it. So that's what it boils down to. So uh, we're going to uh, begin to pray now. Um, <clears throat> looking for the Lord to really do some things. This is the last day of uh, the fast uh, that we and them are doing. And see, now the power really going to start to hit now. So a lot of times when you fast, you can pray about situations or you can pray. It's cool to pray over like um, faith articles, like um, prayer claws and oil and different things then. But then when the fast is broken, that's your when the power begins to hit. It's when you it's 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 being infused, but when you break the fast, you come out of that consecration. That's when things show sure enough to get the hidden. It's like plugging up a phone, like turning the phone off, mm -hmm. but then plugging it up to the charger. Mm -hmm. There's power going in that mm -hmm. phone. But you're turning the vessel of it off for mm -hmm. a little while, so it's getting charged. Mm -hmm. up. But when you cut that power button on, yeah, and see that's and that's exactly what's happening in the realm of the spirit. See, people don't see a lot of times too. People have been trained; they don't know these concepts. See? So a lot of times, stuff gets released, really gets released when when you break that fast. Man, you pray something is going on, but when you come off of it. That's when power hits. So the stuff that you've been praying about. Yeah. Is that resurrection power? Yes, sir. All of a sudden, in other words, the power was there to start with, but just didn't manifest. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, and see, so you get a greater infusion of that power. Mm -hmm. But then when it hits, you see, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing all that's going to uh, manifest. And I'm even thankful for. Uh, the Day of Atonement. Still. You know, just saying that, man, I just feel feel my right hand and foot just saying that all, alone. So I look for God to do a lot. So whatever it is that you need, God's got it covered. Um, <clears throat> you just got to believe. You just have to believe. And if you need to repent, that's okay. Go ahead and do that right now and say, Lord, forgive my unbelief. Lord, I believe. And just like it was with the man, with the, with the child who, who was sick, throwing himself in the water, throwing himself in the fire, his child got healed. And, uh, and the Lord's had me saying it for a reason. There has been some fasting going on. So there's more resurrection power. Lately, Brown and Quentin been saying more about, Brown been saying more about your sister. Mm -hmm. And Trisha mm -hmm. and Quinch been seeing the last what quick two weeks mm -hmm. about Trisha. So, but I know God's working out. But yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's being work, it's being worked out. Um, mm -hmm. God's doing God's doing a lot of things. We just you know just stay in prayer. Uh, I'm believing that all these devils they got the fall. They they got the bow. They got the bow to Jesus. They have no other recourse. Um, just going to manifest. There's just nothing that they can do to stop because we're not going to stop. Uh, the Bible also says, uh, Seek ye ye shall find, not those shall be open. Guess what, though? Really, the, the real literal translation is, Ask, keep asking. Knock, keep knocking. You don't just pray one time or ask one time. And boy, I feel the power of God hitting my hands now as I'm saying that. The literal translation is, it means to continue. 
and see the, the examples in the Bible with, with the widow and the unjust judge. She had to keep asking. Yeah, yeah, she had to keep asking. She had to, she kept showing up, kept showing up. He was unjust judge. <laughs> what did Jesus say? He said, now, if the unjust judge finally gave me in, don't you know your heavenly father's going to do you better? Because he's just. Yeah, so continue to petition. Continue to ask. Continue to seek. Continue to. And it's, you know, even Jesus had to pray for somebody twice. The man that was blind. Yeah, if Jesus prayed for somebody twice, well, he said, What? I see men as trees. So he saw something, but it wasn't clear. Jesus had prayed for him again. That's the only example that's in the Bible. It may have been others, but in the Bible, that's the only example we got. I mean, it's not that it didn't work. It's just. <clears throat> yeah, he, he, he didn't get all of it at one time. Well, it's just like the lepers. The one that came back and thanked him. <clears throat> He said he was made whole. They said others were, were healed. He said the one who came back to him said, he said, where are the other ones? Bob says he was made whole. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's one thing to get to healing, there's one thing to be made whole. Yeah. So it's, again, the word is it? it's choice, it's your will. So just believe God and remember. With God, all things are possible. What? To them that believe. You got to believe. Like I said, the Lord really brought that home tonight. I need to talk about believe. So, we're going to see what's going to happen here now. Father, we thank you again, Lord, for your word. Lord, for your word is always true. And Lord, Lord all of us, Lord, have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Lord, but you always reminded us through your love, Lord, what we need to do. <clears throat> Lord, I pray that all of us, Lord, learn how to believe on you greater. For, Lord, faith is like a muscle. We have to exercise our faith. And, Lord, as we continue to exercise our faith, our faith will get stronger and stronger and stronger. You can exercise, Lord, he that <laughs> believeth. So, Lord, I pray that every lying devil, every unclean spirit of unbelief, every I suppose, Shomari de I break your assignment. I rebuke every spirit of fear. For you cause faith not to happen. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Roso Vashandra, O Spirit, I Samana. Roso share the Sindra Ospira Dada. Rada Basando share the Sindra Osma. Robade Basandra Osmira Dada Basande. Robade Sindra Oshmira da Sandra Oshmirada. Robe Andra Ospira Dada Basandra Oshimara De. Rodo Oshimara de Sindra Oshmira da Rada Sandra Do. Robade Sindra Oshmira da Sandra Oshmira da Rada Sandra Ospa. Robade Sandra Oshmira da Rada Basandra Oshma. Rosa Bash Mary, the Sindra O Spirit out of a Sunday. Father Ashma, Tabaso, through the Sindra Osma. Recipe Shondra O Spirit, the Sindhi. Rosa Osma, the Sandra Osma. Rosa Osma, the Sindra O Spirit, the Sindhi. Ishma, the Sandra O Spirit out of a Sada. Rosa Osma, the Sindra Ospi. Resandra Dosaba, Tara, the Sindhi. Rosso is married out of a Sandra or smeared out of a Sandra day. Resi Pishondo or Shira de Sindra Osmondro. Rosso is married out of a Sandra or Smee. Rebiando or Shirada Basando or Shirada Basande. Rosso is married out of a Sandra or Shirada Basande. Rosso is married the Sindra do. Rabbinera Basandra or smeared out of a Sandra. Rosso Bosch married the Sindra or smeared the Ormo. Rosso shared the center of Shmiridana. Rosso Shmari the center of Shmiridana. Rosso shared the center of Shmaridereba. Robert is the vast Maradere to be shown to Oshmira. Robert is Shmiri the center of Shira de Sandrade. Robert is sent to Oshmiri the center of Oshma. Robert is the vast Maradana Sande. Father of Asa Basabara do Sandra Oshira Daba. Robert is also Shmiri the center of Shira de Nana. 
Rose of Oshere, the island of Mara, Dondo Oshme. Rose of Oshere, the Saint Oshmara de Lo. Robert Alabasando, Oshere, the Saint Vini. Recessionary, the Saint Osma. Robert Esbara de Roda Sande. Father Alabasando, Oshere, the Red Alabasada. Rodo Oshere, the Saint Oshere, the Red Alabasada. the Saint Oshere, the Red Alabasada. Rose of Oshere, the Saint Oshere, the Father of Adabasando, Sherry de Radabasola, Rose of Sherry de Sendo Osherida, Rodo of Sherry de Sendo Osheridada, Rose of Eshmeri de Sendo Osherida, Radabayando Osheri de Sendo Osheridi, Rose of Eshmeri de Sendo Osheridi, Rodo of Oshmira, Rodo of Yando Oshmeri de Sendo, Robara Sande Eshmeri de Sendo. Robert S. Shimara de Santa Oshmira, Robert S. Shimara de Sindhudi, Father Robert S. Santa Oshira de Sindhudi, Rosso S. Shimara de Santa Oshira de, Robert S. Santa Oshira de Santa Santa Oshma, Rosso S. Shimara de Santa Oshma, Robert S. Shimara de Santa de, Rodo S. Shimara de Santa Oshira de Santa, Rodo S. Shimara de Santa de, Rosso S. Shimara de Santa. Rodo Belando Oshire de Sint Oshmi, Rosso Eshire de Sandodo, Rosa Eshmere de Sindhudi, Rosso Eshirada Balada Basande, Father Radara Basando Oshire de Sando, Rosso Eshire de Sint Oshirada, Rodo de Sint Oshmere de Sint Oshma, Rosso Oshmere de Basando Oshmirada, Father Radasa Tabasumara de Rada, Rosso Eshire de Basando. We say she bears Roman Radasma. Rosso Oshi Rada, the Saint Oshi. Rosso Beshi Mary, the Saint Oshma. Robert Esbara, the Saint Oshi Rada. Robert Esbeshi Mara, the Saint Oshma Rado. Robert Oso Benandra Oshi Rada Laba. Rosso Eshi Rada, the Saint Oshmi. Rosso Oshi Rada, the Saint Oshi Rada. Rosso Eshira, the Saint Oshi Rada. Rosso Eshma, the Saint Oshi Mary, the Saint Oshi. Rosso Eshire da da basondo, Rada ba Eshmare de Sinto Osha, Rosso Eshire de Sinto Oshire da, Recibition de Oshire de Sindidi, Rasa Eshmare de Sinto Oshire da da ba, Rosso Eshire da da Ansaba, Rasa Eshmire do Sondo, Rosso Oshire da 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 Sandro do Fe, Father Rada Samara don de Osmire da Sando, Father when it comes Rada Saba, Robert S. Bishamara de Roda Sabara don't grasp bo. Robert S. Bishamara de Roda Bishondo Oshira da da ba. Rosso Boshimara de Sento Oshimara de Roda Biada. Robert S. Bishamara de Sandra Oshimara da da ba Sondo. Robert S. Bishamara de Sandra Oshira da ba da da ba sa. Robert Sondo Oshira de Sento Oshimara de si. We see here the Sondo Oshira da sa. Father, we ask the boss of our day, the mother of the day. Robert also the Shemira de Saint Oshmara de Oda. Rose the Shemira de Saint Ospa. Robert also the Shemira de Sarah de Besondo Shira. Robert also the Shemira de Oda de Besondo Shira de Sarah. Robert also the Shemira de Saint Oshira. Rose the Shemira de Oda de Besondo Shira. Rose the Shemira de Saint Oshira de Abasa. Rose the Shemira de Saint Oshira de Abasondo. Rode of Eshendo Oshire de Sinto Oshma. Rode de Seshmara de Oda de Sondo Oshma. Rode of Sebeshmara de Sinto Oshirada. Rode of Sebeshmara de Sondo Oshire de Radalaba. Rode of Oshire de Sinto Oshire de Sinto da. Rode of Sebeshmara de Sinto do. Rode de Oda Basando Oshire de Arabasande. We say Shemira de Sinto Oshmira de. Rode of Sebeshmara de Sibara de Oda de Sondo do. Robert O. Sebastian Mara de Oda be a Sandro do. Robert S. Barra de Sando, Shira de Sandro da. Robert O. Sando, Shira de Araba Sandro do. Father de Araba Sando, Shira de Sando Oshima. Robert S. Sebastian Mara de Oda be a Sando Oshira da. Robert O. Sebastian Mara de Oda be a Sando Oshira de Sando de. Robert O. Sebastian Mara de Sando Oshira da. Robert S. Sebastian Mara de Oda be a Sando do. Robert Osebeshi Mara de Oda Biyada Basodo. 
Robo do subesh mara de rando ofma. Fala let the mira da sada basando osha. Robo do subesh under osmira da ba. Roso osmira da ba sara de sando. Robo de basando osha de sando do. Robo de subesh mira de sando osmara do. Roso osha de sando ori osmara do do. Roso osha de sando osha da da ba. Robert Alaba Sando, Sherry de Saint Dodo. Robert O. Sessioner de Saint Oshma. Rudy Rishando, Sherry de Saint Osher de Alaba. Rosso, Sherry de Saint Osher de Alaba. Rosso, Eshmar de Saint Osma. Ribbon de Sedishmer de Saint Osme. Riandro, Sherry de Saint Osher de Alaba. Father Alaba Sando, Sherry de Saint Osme. Robert S. Mesh Merida Rabasande. Robert S. Mesh Merida Saint Oshurada. Robert S. Mesh Merida Saint Oshurada. Rosso Eshurada Rabasande. Ishime Sondo Era de Serada Sada. Father Ban Rodoso Barra de Sando. Father Ban those that go to the groves and the high places. Father Pere Rosso de Andre Oshimirada. Rosso Sherida Saint Oshurada. Roda Basando Sherida Rada. Rosso Esher and Ascend Osme, Robodes Beshmar de Rabiada Basande, Father Praise You Send Angels, Rasa, Eshime Sondo, Era de Sindolo, Rosso Esher and Ascendolo, Father Sindon Rasa Torre, Rosso Esher and Ascendolo, Rada Basendo, Esher and Ascendia, Rosso Esher and Ascendo Osma, Robodes Basando Osmira de Sende, Father Pray Lord that you will cover them, Lord, in a pillar of fire. Eshirada Vasore de Sindudo, Rosso Eshirada de Sindudo, Father Bani de Coven, Eshibara do Sodo, Rese Beshundo Oshirada Daba, Rosso Eshmeri de Sindudo, Rese Eshmeri de Sindu Osba, Father Reda Sabashimara de Basando, Those Lord Eshmeri de Sindu Oshbe, Rode Beshundo Oshirada Daba Sande, Father Pray did become a day of reckoning, Rasa Beshundo Oshirada de Sindu, Rosso Esher de Sint Oshiradaba Rodabayanto Osher de Sint Oshiradana Basant Oshira Rodabayanto Osher de Sint Oshiradana Basande Roda Esher de Sint Oshiradana Basando Rodabayanto Osher de Sint Oshiradana Basaraba Rosso Esher de Lauro Orea Sint Isha Robertes de Bishmara de Baba Father Pray this Isharadasa that your presence, Lord, will touch people at their very core, at their very spirit, Lord, at the very seat of who they are. Rishi Basondo, Rene Yandro Oshira de Sirada, Rosso Eshpiriana Basondo, Rese Shimara de Sabara Dodo, Rosso Vishendo Oshira Dadaba, Rosso Eshira de Sendudo, and Father Abani, a family member on every side, Eshmira do Sondo, Era da Sande. I bind it in which wizard, Susan Astrologer, Lord, I bind all masons and Eastern Star, Rasa Bishondo Oshirade, Lord of the Andrew Oshirada, Rosso Bishondo Oshirada, Lord of the Andrew Oshirade Sindrade, Risi Bisho Radana Basande, Robert S. Basumara de Rado, Robert S. Moshimera de Rado, Robert S. Bishmera de Rado Basande, Robert S. Basando Oshira de Rada, Robert S. Bishmera de Rado, Robert S. Meshmer and Arada, Robert Asa, Tampa Sondo, Robert S. Mary de Sindu Dorada, Robert S. Meshmer and Arada Bosondo, Robert S. Meshmer and Arada Basande, Father, I bind every person, Lord, that has been connected to this house behind me, Lord, for the past 20 odd years, Lord. I bind every Asbota Oshmerada, Rose Shemir and Ondo, Robert Asa, Shemar and Sondo, Ray Shemir and Sindu Osbi, we are all sure that Santa Osma. We will be smiled on the Oshira de Sindhi. Rose Esh Mirada. Rosso Esh Rada Basondo. Rada Beyondo Osh Mirada Daba. Rose Mesh Mara Dosa. Rose Esh Mirada Sindhi. We are all sure that Santa Osma. We will be smiled on the Oshira de Sindhi. We will be smiled on the Oshira de Sindhi. We will be smiled on the Oshira de Sindhi. We will be smiled on the Oshira de Sindhi. Father, I bind Rosio and Asande, 
Ishanara Sando, Rase Ishmo, Rolling Hendro Ishmoda, Robert Sando Ishmoda, Roso Ishmoda Sendro, Rodeliandro Ishmoda Sandy, Rasa Ishmoda Sande. Father, let the full force, Lord, of the last one, la 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 Lord, let that from the atonement to now. Rather the under Oshere de Sendudo. Rosso Eshere de Sandudo. Rather the under Oshere de Sandudo. Rosso Eshere de Sandudo. Father, let cultivate Radana Basundo. Rosso Isha. Rosso Eshme. Rase Eshma. Rondo Esho. Rese Eshma. Rande Eshere de Sandudo. Rese is tomorrow de Sendudo. Rather the under Oshere de Sandudo. And Lord, forget not the triangle. Radasa, Roso Ishira de Sinde, Rodeliando Oshira da da Basandudo, Rose Ishmere de Sinto Osma, Rese Ishmare de Sinto Do, Rodeliando Oshira da da Basande, Roso Ishira de Sinto Osma. Lord, we pray. Rese Ishira Sande, Roso Ishira da da Basande, Rose Ishmere da da Basande. Lord, we ask you right out of Sunday. Holy Ghost, put a hook in the jaw. And leave it to the foot of the cross. We ask you right out of Sunday. And Lord, even as it was, Lord, you showed me court in advance, Lord. Forget not my sister. For Lord, I knew that she was tied to that dream as well. And Lord, as, as you have given me control, Lord, give her control. Give her greater control. And Father, Lord, let everything, Lord, the enemy is trying to rest away from her, Lord, from the time she was a child. Lord, I pray it come back to her double. <coughs> Lord, I believe double, Lord. You, you gave you gave me a shout out on Job twice as much as he had, Lord. <coughs> Lord, I'm praying for a double portion blessing for her. Rasa Bashmara de Sindra Osba. Roso Ishra de Basandra Osba. Robert Esther Bashmara de Sindra Osba. Robert S. Basanto Oshira de Naba. Robert Yandro Oshira de Baza. Rosa de Shondra Oshira de Sintuni. Robert S. Basmara de Rajimir de Basarada. Rosa Boshimara de Santa Oshira. Father, let your Oshira de Basande. Let your glory manifest, Lord. It's just easy for you to manifest in Florida, Lord, as it is here. <coughs> there is nothing. Lord, too hard for thee. In the realm of the spirit, Lord, there is no distance. So, Lord, I speak Ishira da Sandra Oshbe. Roso Ishira da Sande. Roso Ishira da Sandra Oshbe. And, Lord, if, if her cousin is watching in South Carolina, I plead the blood of Jesus over him as well. Roso Ishira da Sandra Oshbe. Rada Basando, Shira de Sinto Oshirada. Rosso Eshira de Sinto Oshirada. Rebe Shondo, ha. Rebe de Basando Oshirada. Rebe de Basando, Shira de Basando de So. Rosso Shira de Sinto Ospia. Rosso Eshira de Sinto Do. Rabba de Sando Oshirada Laba. Rosso Eshira de Sinto Do. And Lord, I speak in the mysteries, Lord, but I pray that the interpretation of these tongues, Lord, will be made manifest. Right on our Sunday. Rosso Shira de Sindra Ospirana. Rosso Eshmira de Basandido. We say it's tomorrow, there's tomorrow, there's tomorrow. Rosso Eshmira de Basando Osha. Rebendo Shira de Basando Oshirana. Rosso Eshmira de Basando Oshirana. Rese Shimera de Sendo Oshirada. Roda Besondo Es Mara de Sondo. Rose Shimera de Sendo de. Roso Eshmera de Basande. Rasa Tere Sondo Oshirada. Roso Eshmera de Sendo Oshirada. Rebe de Sesh Mara de Sondo do. Roso Eshmera de Basandu do. Rebe de Sendo Oshere de Sendo Oshere de Alabasandu do. Rosso Eshere de Alabasandu Osma. Rabadasa Tabasandu Oshere da. 
Rosso Oshira, they send to Oshira. Robert Asando, Shira, they send to Oshira. Robert Esim, Ishmael, they are to be Asando. Father, reveal this unto us, Ishmael. Rosso, Shmerid, Adam Asande. Father, make it so plain, Lord, that we cannot miss it. Rosso Oshira, they send to Oshima. Rosso Oshira, they send to Oshima. Robert Esim, Shmerid, they send to Oshira, Adam Rosso Oshiradas Banda Osma. Father, let there be a full reversal, Lord. Radasa. Rosso Ishiradana Basande. Father Ishirata Basando. Ishmeradasa. Rosso Ishmerada Sinde. Rosi Shandra Ospirada Sande. Rasa Ishmerad Osrada Sande. Rosso Ishma. Rebbe de Sinda Ushma Radevada Sande. Rosso is married out of a Sunday. <coughs> Rosso is married out of a Sunday. Rosso it is 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 a Sunday. Rosso in the Basande. 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 Issue of the Sindra Ospa. Robert in the Basandra Oshi Radar of the Sandra Osmarada. Robert in the Sibishmira de Sandra Oshi Radar Basande. Father Red Out of a Sondra Oshira de Sandra Oshirada. Robert S. Bishmere de Sandra Oshirada Bellaro. Lord, I am believer. Red Out Santa Basada Basondo. Ishimer Sandra Oshira de Sandra. Lord, I did Shimara do Sondra Oshmere and Adam Asande. Rosso Oshmere de Sandra Osba. Robert de Bessandra Oshira de Sandra. Ishmere and Adam Asando, Oshira and Adam Asande. Father, let there be Redoso Barra de Rosada Sande. Let there be a complete and full turnaround. Father, Red Asabasa Barra de Osamara de Rodo. Robert de Sebishmere de Rosandra Ospa. Robert Adam Asando, Oshira de Sandra Ospa. Robert de Sebishmere de Ospira and Andre. Rosso Ishira and Adam Asande. Robert de Sebishmere de Rosandra Ospa. Robo de Sibara de Santa Oshirada. Robo de Sibara de Rabasanta Oshmira. Father Rilasa Basbara de Santa Oshirada. Father Rodosa Bora de Santa Oshirada. Robo de Sibishmira de Rabia de Basora. Robo de Sibara de Santa Oshirada Basande. Father Rilasa and Mineral de Basanta Oshirada Basande. Father, we ask that you order our steps. Oshimura de Sindra Oshira de Rada Sande. Rosso Oshira de Sindra Oshira da. Rosso Obede Sindra Oshira de Rada. Rodo Beandra Oshira de Sindra Oshira da. Father, we ask that you order our steps. Oshimura de Sindra Oshira de Rada Sande. Rosso Obede Sindra Oshira de Sindra Oshira da. Lord, we just rebuke those people, Lord, who Deny your power, Ishpa, Torah, the sin to Osha, Robert is a Basanda, having a form of God, this Lord, but deny the power thereof. Rather by the Basora, the sin to Dosu. Huh, you said from such turn away. Rather by Laza, Basondo, Rosso, Eshera, the sin to day. Reset to mirror, the sin to Ospa. Robert is to Bishmara, the Rada Basande. Father Rada Sata, Bishondo, Ospirina. Rosso Eshi Red Ava Sande. Father Redo Sabara is Sindra Oshira Day. Roda Balava Sandra Oshira de Sindri Day. We say Shimira de Sindra Ospa. Robert Osorada Basandra Ushma. Robert Sabe Shimira de Rada Sandra Do. Robert Osabara da Sandra Oshira de Sindri Day. Rosi Shira de Sindra Ospa. Robert Sabara da Rada Sandra Omende. Roda Beandra Oshira da Rada Sande. Robert Osbera da Sandra do. Rosso Bishara da Sandra day. 
Lord, give me wisdom, Lord. Raise your hand the center of us, Lord. Robo de Sibish Meridana. Robo de Sibish Meridana Basande. Robo de Sibish Meridana to be Sandra, though. Robo de Sibish Meridana Basandra Uspa. Lord, give us Ishira de Sandra, though, with some knowledge and understanding. Lord, you have a plan, Lord. We need to know what it is. Pray that you continue to speak to us that we might know what it is, Lord. And Lord, keep us, Lord, keep us 10 in the steps of the enemy, Lord, <clears throat> that we will know what the enemy is doing. And help us, Lord, to each for on our Sunday, that we'll be able to pray in a board, Lord, to do the things, Lord, that will throw the enemy off. Lord, we bind those, Lord, who keep trying to hold back our material blessing. It's red out of sword that's in the door. Even though there's been a conspiracy, Lord, they are no, might, no match for you. No match for your might and power. So, Father, I pray you be in the manifest yourself and let them know that you're not just sitting in the heavenlies doing nothing. Or let them know that we know what they're doing. In the spite of us, it's not going to work. In spite of what they're doing, Lord, let them know it's not going to work. Let them be totally confused and confounded. As you said in your word, Lord, you will mock them in the calamity, Lord, and laugh at them and die that their derision. And derision is confusion. Let confusion reign on every level. From the top of the Illuminati to the bottom. Let there be discord. Let there be confusion. Let there be disillusionment. That for something they've worked on for such a long time and they've come to know. Father, manifest your power. Ishmael, the Sunday, Shere, the Sirada, Rosabara, Dera, the Sunday. And Father, I pray that you begin to speak to people, Lord. The men that you've anointed. Lord, they've got had their uh, senses exercised enough. I pray that they begin to get that. And I pray, Lord, that they begin to understand the dreams. In the visions that you're giving unto them, Lord. <clears throat> I pray, Lord, that the, the interpretation of dreams and visions will be made manifest over the airwaves right now. Through not just telephone line, Lord, but through the internet. That the Spirit of God will manifest and is manifesting right now. <clears throat> that they will be able to understand dreams and visions. That they will get the interpretation. And Father Adasa Bashmara, the center door. Robodos Bashmara, the center Ospa. Rose Shimmer, the center Ospa. Ishmara, the center Oshiri, the Arada Sunday. Father, turn everything around, Lord, according to your will, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Rather be sure the center Ospa, the Rose Ishmara, the Arada Sandra Ospa. Rosso Ishira de Centro Ospara de Rada Sante. Rosso Ishmira de Andra Ostrander Ospirada. Rosso Ostrander Basanto Ospiradana. Rosso Ishira de Basante. Ispira de Basora de Centro Ospa. Rosso Ishmira de Rada Sandudo. Rodo Beandro Ospira de Andra Osparado. Rosso Ishmael Asmar, Rada Beandro Oshira da Basandra do, Rada Beandro Oshira de Rada Sandra Oshira da Ba, Roba de Sandra Oshira de Rada Sandra de, Risi Ishmael de Sandra Oshira da, Rosso Oshira da Tibe Sandra Oshira da, Roba de Sandra de Tibe Rada Sandra do, Rosso Bara de Sandra Oshira de Sandra de, Risi Ishmael da Sandra Oshira da. Father, let us have us married here to be a Sandra Do. Father, let us have us married here to be a Sandra Do. Rosso Ishira de Sandra Do. Risa Ishmael Ara de Sandra Ospo. Robert Ostabera da Sandra Oshira. Robert de Sandra Oshira de Ara. Robert de Sandra Ishmael Ara de Sandra. Father, I pray a double portion fall outside. <clears throat> 
Rada be enjo o shiro ne senjo do. Ro be enjo o shiro ne senjo do. Ro so e shiro ne senjo o shima. Ro be de senjo o shiro ne senjo do. Ro so e shiro ne senjo do ba. Ro so be shanjo o shiro da. Ro so o shiro da la basande. Ro do be enjo o shiro ne senjo do. Ro so e shiro da basande. Ish bere de senjo o shiro da. Rosso e Shimari deo de Bisondo. Rosso e Shimari del Sando. Father Radassa Basando o Shiradada Basande. Father Aki Shiro de Sindro o Shiro de Sende. Rodi Andro o Shiro da Sando do. Rosso e Shiro de Sindro do. Ishme, Rosso o Shiro da. Rosso e Shirada Basando do. Father Radassa Shabara de Sando do. Rosso e Shira de Sindrudo. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you are surrounded by Adaba Sande. Rosso e Shira de Sindrudo. We see Shimara de Odi de Sindrudo. Rosso e 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 Shimara 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 de Sindrudo. Lord, let the beaver do so in the letter of Osbando. <clears throat> I saw like a <clears throat> I saw like a tidal wave hit some people. <clears throat> and they weren't expecting it. I saw all this water just hit people and they got washed away. Seeds. When the water was receding, they were going out with the tide. It's like I had the vantage point that I still was looking from where the buildings were. I saw the water when it came in.
If you believe God manifests it where you are right now, but it was all predicated on whether you believe it or not. I believe some of you see may have even seen some things, but you still have to act upon what you've seen <coughs> to believe it. If you gotta tell God I believe what you said, what you've shown to me, don't think that your mind just made it up. I saw that so plain about that water coming in. I had to recognize it. I wouldn't open my eyes and see it. I mean, I, it was so vivid when I saw it. So uh, just continue to believe. Continue to read God's word. Make sure you read Hebrews 11 uh, several times and just begin to meditate on what that word says. You need to get it deep inside of you. Uh, low folks will say you need to get down in your knower. And when you got it in your knower, you, know, you don't want it just up here, you want it in your spirit. Uh, so read that chapter and and look at look what faith can do. Faith is founding. It takes faith to get saved. So stop trying to make it real hard and complicated. It's not a theologian thing. Easy to believe God or you don't. So without further ado, uh, I guess we'll see you win tonight. I saw um, some early on in the prayer. <laughs>